This is the diatone Taycan, a Cinebu racing quad. A racing quad that can be controlled through tight spaces without worrying that you will destroy something with the props because it has these ducts that protect the propellers from touching anything. We are here at this place. We'll be flying the Cinewoop and uh, testing it out. Uh, flying through trees, around trees and uh, we'll see how it feels to uh, use it. I can say already that I have flown it for a while and it feels a lot more safer than a 5 inch drone. The ducts help a lot. I, I do enjoy them. I do enjoy that this feeling that if I fly through something and if I touch something I won't destroy it, which is good. But now about the specifications and all that detail I will bring in someone who actually understands those things. So uh, OG. Hi guys. He is the owner of the BrickRacing.com shop and he helped me to get this uh, drone. Basically this is a forest version of the Dayton Tankin. Uh, thanks to Chelsea from uh, Dayton for hooking us up. Uh, this is the FSKY version. Uh, what, what it comes and what it comes uh, without. Uh, basically you get it uh, fully built except uh, the receiver. The receiver was just in the box. You have to bind it uh, and connect it yourself. Uh, add the antenna, screw on the props, put the tubes, and it was like ready to fly. Basically, the main issue was that there was no mode set up. There was just arm uh, on the AUX1 in the same uh, enabling the air mode. So I put up uh, the little mode, uh, the air mode uh, arm, and I believe I put on the crash over turtle mode as well. Yes. Yes, it's there. So, yeah, basically that's all. The specs, uh, you can Google it, but this is the first uh, forest version, so, yeah. There's nothing much more to say. Runcam Nano. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically it comes with the uh, Runcam Nano too. But these are the specs, uh, I think you all can go Google it, and uh, there's nothing much I can say. I haven't, like, really flown it, mm -hmm. because of uh, rain is a uh, different mode. <laughs> If you want to know about the mode, I will tell you about the mode, why he is so special. He flies mode 4 with reverse roll. So basically, this is the throttle. And this would be the right uh, roll for you regular guys, if you fly uh, mode 4. I think not, but for Anis, this is uh, left and this is right. So basically, yeah, it's screwed up a bit. So I can't really like fly it because I fly mode 3.
flying this thing for a few weeks and I can say that I feel a lot safer flying this thing than I feel flying my 5 inch quad. It's safe for humans, it's safe to fly around humans and it's also safe just to fly through places without like destroying stuff. I did enjoy this feeling quite a lot. It's, it's really amazing to be able to feel safe while flying this thing. Especially for me. I'm a beginner FPV pilot and feeling safe is crucial in getting like cool looking shots because when when I don't feel safe I don't really I, I rarely go for the shot but with this thing I feel safe and uh, I get a little more daring with it so I sometimes tend to get more advanced shots than I would be getting with the 5 inch one because I feel safer. And by the way, this drone is made for slow flying type of stuff, but it can do some crazy maneuvering stuff and it can do some flips, although if the angle of the die will be too much, the drone will start to wobble because of those ducts, but, um, but nevertheless this drone can be used for some more extreme stuff, it's just, it's just that you have to know the limitations, where and how. Uh, does the drone start to wobble? My experience with this drone has been really amazing. It's something that every beginner drone pilot should have. A Cinewoop drone. Because of those ducts, I feel safe. <laughs> I can't even say it enough how safe I feel. I do trust myself with this drone a lot more than I trust myself with the 5 inch one. The flying has been smooth and I really haven't had any problems with it. Except for once I crashed it and then the VTX resetted itself to the lowest possible power and uh, I couldn't reset, I, I couldn't set it back to a more powerful one so uh, I, had, uh, I had to ask my friend for some help with that and uh, that's it. So yeah, Diaton Taycan. It's an amazing FPV Cinewoop drone that will help you to get amazing shots flying through tight spaces and uh, it will definitely help you to feel safer while you're in the air. If you enjoyed this review then please sacrifice the like button and if you want to see more from me then please consider subscribing and if you are subscribing then click that bell thingy wherever it is. Hopefully you were able to learn something new today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.